Grilling season doesn't have to mean buying expensive steak. A chuck roast can yield tasty cuts at a much lower price. Just ask Carrie Underly, a third-generation meat cutter who has been helping the beef industry find gems in inexpensive cuts of meat. Well, we're going to let you guys in on some secrets here that the industry has been working on, and you could do this at home. So this is a chuck roast. I always tell people to use their hands if they're not sure, so you can find that seam. And then you just want to put your knife right into that seam, and we're just going to roll this right off. And it's pretty much just separates by itself. And then this is our chuck eye portion. And then we have inside here, we have this little piece of meat inside here that we call the Sierra. And what's so special about the, the Sierra? Well, what's really nice, if you'll notice just these characteristics, it, it does look like a flank steak. And so that's really good for any kind of, um, uh, again, stir frying or any uh, Asian type cooking, you know, you can get in here and it will be really be a nice piece of meat. And this is obviously a less expensive alternative to a, a flank steak. Yes. and. With the demand on flank steaks, supply and demand, we have fewer flanks available, so the price keeps going higher. So what eventually will happen is that this is going to become available as a flank replacement or a substitute. Right here along the side, this is the part that you probably have to be most careful about. So you want to identify this really large, solid piece of meat. That's the gem. But this piece right over here is um, what we're going to use for stew, or this would make amazing um, ground chuck. Um, so now we have this large piece of meat and we're going to cut across the grain and we're going to create our Denver cuts. Cutting about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Now Denver cut, is that a fairly new cut of meat? It is. It, it, the industry started promoting it I would say about uh, two or three years ago and was the first time when we started testing it. and. Um, to see if it had some legs, um, if, if, it, if it held up for the consumer. This, uh... this is the chuck eye. And so you could tie this, you could leave it whole as a grill roast. Um, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just cut our steaks. And then the remaining pieces, this gets a little bit bigger, we would cut in half. We go right down the middle here and we would turn this into boneless country style ribs. And these are amazing. You can actually braise these on the grill. So braise them in a pot. And then uh, when they've had a chance to break down a bit, you can finish them on the grill with a little barbecue sauce. Oh, great. We have five cuts. And then we still have a little bit of stir fry we can get, or uh, pepper steak, or thin shreds for soup, if you like to put a little thin shred of, of meat in your, in your soup. And then any and all of this could be um, used for hamburger or stew. So what do you do with the, the trimmings over there? Do this, they just get tossed or do you This is what goes into stock? ground beef. And so we collect those and then we grind them and that's what makes hamburger. So you're using the entire chuck roast then? Nothing's going to waste. <laughs> so great. Well, this is incredible. All these different cuts just from that one. Just from one simple chuck roast. Great.